Hi everybody, my name is Kevin and I'm the head of business development here at Kraken Futures. In this video, we're going to talk about the funding rate. So the backdrop for the funding rate is the perpetual futures contract, which I think is one of the most important innovations in the history of crypto. The perpetual contract doesn't exist in the regular world. So much respect to Arthur and the BitMEX team for literally inventing it. If you are trading the perpetual futures contract, it's important to understand what the funding rate is how it works, and how it will impact your PL. So before I go any further, I want to be crystal clear about three things. Number one, the funding rate is not a fee charged by Kraken Futures or any other exchange for that matter. Number two, the funding rate is not an interest charge. It's not a fee that you pay to hold the position open. And number three, sometimes you'll pay a funding rate and sometimes you will receive a funding rate payment. It's all based on market demand. So let's start with why we even have the funding rate in the first place. On the surface, the perpetual futures contract lets you go long or short on the spot price of crypto with up to 50x leverage. But under the hood, the perpetual futures contract is actually a fixed term contract with an extremely short term. So instead of having a month or a quarter term, the perpetual futures contracts term is just four hours. And the cool trick is that every four hours, all of the open positions are automatically rolled into the next four hour term. In practice, this means that the perpetual futures contract never actually settles or expires. You can hold the position open perpetually, but it does introduce a complexity. In a previous segment, we discussed that all fixed term contracts settle to the spot index price, which guarantees that the futures price will ultimately equal the spot index price. The complexity is if the perpetual futures contract never settles, how do we ensure that the futures price accurately reflects the index price? And that's what the funding rate is there to do. So the funding rate is a small fee paid by one side of the contract to the other. For example, shorts might pay longs. The purpose of the funding rate is to encourage the price of the perpetual futures contract to stay near the underlying spot price. For example, if the perpetual futures contract is trading at a premium to the spot index, the funding rate will be positive. This tends to happen when the market is bullish and it means that longs will pay shorts a small fee. The fee slightly discourages you from being long and slightly incentivizes traders to be short because they receive a tiny payment. The effect is that the futures contract will be encouraged to move closer to the spot index price. Conversely, if the perpetual contract is trading at a discount to the spot index, the funding rate will be negative. This tends to happen when the market is bearish and it means that shorts will pay longs a small fee. Again, the effect is to encourage the futures price to more, to more accurately reflect the underlying spot price. Here's a chart showing the average daily funding rate for Kraken futures compared to the Bitcoin price. Now, the important thing to notice here is the trend. The funding rate tends to correlate with market sentiment. When the market is bullish and the price is rising, the funding rate will tend to be positive, meaning longs will tend to pay shorts. When the market is bearish and the price is generally falling, the funding rate will tend to be negative, meaning that shorts will tend to pay longs. But these are overall trends. The funding rate itself changes every four hours and it can swing back and forth between positive and negative multiple times a day. So let's look at two examples. In this example, the funding rate is negative 0.0024%. A negative funding rate means that over the current four hour period, shorts are going to be paying longs that amount. You can also see the estimated next period funding rate. In this case, negative 0.0027%. So over the course of the next four hour period, shorts will be expecting to pay longs that amount. In our second example, the current funding rate is still negative. It's negative 0.036% meaning that in the current four hour period, shorts are paying longs. But in the next period, the funding rate flips from negative to positive. In the next four hour period, longs are going to be paying shorts 0.009%. Now look, these are tiny percentages. To put it into perspective, if you had a $10,000 position open, that would equate to about nine cents. But it does add up and it does affect your PL, so we think it's important that you understand how it works. Because funding rates are set by the market in real time, we can't predict the funding rate more than one period in advance. So in conclusion, the funding rate is not a fee charged by the exchange. 
it's a small amount paid by one side of the contract to the other to encourage the futures contract price to stay in line with the spot index price. The funding rate changes every four hours, but in general, during bull markets, the funding rate will tend to be positive, which means longs will pay shorts. And during bear markets, the funding rate will tend to be negative, which means shorts will pay longs. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I know it's a complicated subject, so please, please come ask questions in the Telegram chat or in the chat box here. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to continuing with you. Thank you.